Ladies and gentlemen, this video today is brought to you by MSI, one of my sponsors, absolutely beautiful people. They have sent me so much awesome stuff, like a brand new PC case, this brand new monitor that I'm using right now. All the links to this stuff will be linked in the description down below. They also sent me my beautiful MSI Gaming X Trio 3080 graphics card, which has been absolutely slaying every single game that I've been playing. So guys, if you're in the market for graphics cards, for components for your computers, for cases, for monitors, for peripherals, Make sure you check out MSI. They are the best in the business. Thank you guys very much for supporting me. And I hope you guys love MSI's products as much as I love them. Enjoy the video. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? This is Tweak back again with another little guide video for you dudes. So in today's video, we are going to be going over how to get max strength and max endurance because I have recently gotten max endurance. Everybody keeps asking me, oh my God, how do you run for so long? How can you run straight from your spawn on shoreline and get to the resort in one endurance bar? Or, you know, how can you run from one side of customs to the other and get straight to Mark Room like instantly before anybody else? So, soft skills in Tarkov, there are a few that are incredibly strong. So, the two strongest in the game being endurance and strength. So, in my opinion at least, I believe that strength and endurance are two of the best skills that you can get maxed in this game. And everybody always tries to get them as quick as they can. Now, in previous wipes, I've never really bothered working on these soft skills and trying to get them maxed. I just kind of leveled them as I go. And I feel like an idiot now because it's actually so unbelievably easy. At least this wipe, it seems to be a lot easier. So in today's video, we're going to get into how exactly we can do that. Now, how we're going to do that, we are first of all going to start in the hideout. Now, I know some people are going to be like, wait, what? why would I do this? The library, okay? You want to get your library because this is tied to another soft skill that can actually benefit us more. And the higher that you have this soft skill, the quicker we can actually level our strength and endurance. So what the library does, it gives you additional in raid experience uh, for your PMC. But this is what we're interested in here. Levels group of uh, soft skills, um, your, your practical soft skills, basically, which give you 36.6%. Uh, bonus XP towards those soft skills. Now, you might be asking yourself, what does this have to do with leveling strength and endurance? Well, hideout management is one of your practical soft skills. Now, what hideout management does is uh, it increases all percentage bonuses from zones by 22% of their value. So you get like 1% per level. Uh, it also decreases the usage of fuel, air, and water filter consumptions by, it seems to be, half of whatever level it is. So over time, this is going to add up a lot, and this is going to give you a ton of bonus time and experience, and it's going to save you money. So the big thing, the main thing you're going to need before you do any of this, and I wouldn't even bother doing this method until you have your air filtering unit because it'll make it so much faster it will also save you a ton of money and stimulants as you're going so the air filtering unit um what does it do it levels uh your physical soft skills so you see it says uh bonus zero here we're going to put in an air filter it gives you more or less 50 percent of a bonus to your physical soft skills now, this is absolutely huge. You're going to be leveling your soft skills 50% faster, which is massive. Now, air filters, uh, they are kind of expensive. Let me just see what price they are right now. Let's have a look. Yeah, you're looking at like a quarter of a million rubles uh, per air filter. I actually just used my last one. So let me stick these bad boys in there like that real quick and blow a million rubles real quick. But it is absolutely worth it. If you are dead set on getting max strength and endurance, I would absolutely recommend that you get the air filtering unit in your hideout. Now, on to the method. So if you want to level strength, I would highly recommend doing it after you max your endurance. It will make your life so much easier. You can get max endurance so fast for basically spending that quarter of a million rubles on the air filter uh to put in when you're raiding for the day um and try and try and play as much as you can before the timer runs out on those things as well because they are expensive to maintain and you are also going to be spending a lot of money on these this is the thing that makes life so damn easy when it comes to leveling strength and endurance this is an sj6 stim so 
what does sj6 do it gives you plus 30 to your max stamina it gives you so much extra running time it is insane now these stims at the moment on the flea market they go for anywhere from like 45 up to like 60k is like the most expensive i've seen them at but you can pick them up pretty handily on the flea market uh no issues for you know about um, on average of about 50k so the method so what i'm gonna do here is i'm just going to throw on this gear you know we'll pretend these are our meds these are our blah blah blahs you know this is this is all good and i'm just gonna put this in here real quick i'll explain that a little bit later now i want you to pay attention to this number down here this is your current equip load this is how much stuff you have equipped and uh what your weight situation is so uh i don't know if i have anything here that could maybe uh like can i even put thick cases in my bag i can't but anyway it has varying degrees of weight so let me just remove a couple of these mags now you see the number changes to like gray or white even so this means that your pmc is under weight okay so what this means is when this number isn't yellow is that you're going to be leveling your endurance when you're walking around and sprinting whilst you're underweight now if I add these mags back and I put my weight back into the yellow region, when your weight is yellow and you're sprinting and you're walking around, you're actually leveling strength. Now, a lot of people don't know this as well because I've seen people do this where they'll fill up their bags with like a ton of their used uh, fuel canisters and they'll like their weight will be like 60, 70 kilograms or whatever because they think they're going to get more XP by being more overweight. It doesn't matter. You can be literally like 0.1 over your weight limit and you will be gaining strength experience. It doesn't matter if you're 100 kilos or you're 41.2 kilograms. As long as this number is yellow, have it as low as possible just for your own sake while you're looting stuff in raids so you don't get mega overweight while you're doing this. Um, you will be leveling strength. Now, how do you do it? How do you, how do you get all this soft skill XP every raid? Well, what I've been doing... And bear in mind, it took me about a week to go from level... I think I was like 34 or 35 endurance. Uh, and I got that all the way up to 51 in about a week. So what I do every raid, and I played a lot of Shoreline to do this as well. You get an SJ6 stim. As soon as you load into the raid, boom. You hit it and you sprint. You do not jump. You do not stop. You sprint. You you keep sprinting until your stamina bar is completely drained. And then once that's done, you can check your soft skill XP. You're going to get about 15 or so points in endurance. Now, that is at the very start of the raid. There's a thing where your soft skills, they'll get the little red arrow next to it once you've leveled it up and you start getting the diminishing returns. It's something like after five minutes or 10 minutes passes in the raid you actually can like get more soft skill xp but i don't think it's ever as much as you can gain at the very start of the raid so what you can do then is once you're you've used your first burst of sprint you go loot you get your strength xp uh or sorry you'll start getting strength xp because your pmc will be overweight then you hit another sj6 and then you sprint out of the raid with that and then you're going to be leveling strength as you're running out of the raid it's not quite as efficient to do it that way uh, because what you want to do to level strength is essentially make sure your PMC is overweight before you go into the raid. I do this by, I get a docs case and then I fill it with SAS drives. Uh, and these are like, yeah, 44k each or whatever, but you don't really lose that much money because you can sell them back to Peacekeeper uh, once you're completely done with this for $358. So at least you're going to be getting some dollars back. But what I'll do is I'll get my loadout together. I will add and I'll remove uh, SAS drives until my PMC is overweight. And then at the start of the raid, I'll do the same thing again. I'll hit an SJ6. I'll sprint completely until my stamina bar is totally out. And then that's it. We're done. That is the majority of the leveling that you can do during that raid. Now, if you want to like get that extra little bit, you can bring an extra SJ6 with you and you can hit that when you're leaving the raid. But if you want to be training strength, you should probably not be hitting mules on the way out. Hitting a mule and then an SJ6 can be a good way of getting a little bit more endurance XP before you leave the raid. But if you're doing strength, I would probably forget the mule and just bring extra SJ6s with you. So why? You know, why are we going through all this trouble to level these soft skills? Well, for elite endurance, uh, let me just move my 
camera back down here real quick like that so for elite endurance once you hit level 51 you get increased uh stamina by 150 percent you also get increased hand endurance so that lets you ads you know for longer uh without going out of breath you also get decreased jump stamina drain so every time you jump you're it's taking less uh stamina to do it you also get increased breath holding time by 100 percent and this is huge as well physical exertion does not cause apnea now what is apnea that's when you're adsing and then your pmc starts having an asthma attack and you have to put him on a ventilator so he can get his breath back and he just starts going ah, 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 ah. and you can't hear anything that's going on around you and your aim is just wibbling and wobbling everywhere because of the changes that they made to like how your arm stamina works now and all that elite endurance is in my opinion probably the best soft skill you can have in escape from tarkov because it'll let you hold angles for a million times longer and then you don't have that really annoying turbo heavy breathing depending on what voice pack you chose to go with for your pmc now as far as strength goes you get increased jump height you also get increased carrying weight you also get increased melee strike power for all the fucking hatchlings out there suck my dick uh you also get increased movement and sprint speed uh, which is also absolutely huge once this is maxed. It's so good. You also get increased throwing distance for your nades and aiming also drains less stamina. So these two soft skills are very much tied together. Now, another reason, this is just an extra thing. As far as the hideout goes, let me just uh, do a little transition here. Just a, a little bit more on the library because the library is actually super nice for a couple of things. So I'm just going to pull this open real quick for you guys. So this is the list of practical soft skills here. So among the things that you want to level up as much as possible uh, is uh, your search skill. You get search skill from this as well. You also get increased mag drills XP. You also get increased crafting XP. You also get increased surgery XP, uh, which reduces the time it takes to do surgery. And it also makes it so you get more HP back once you perform surgery so and your hideout management which is the most important one for leveling soft skills so having your library is definitely very very important and you can actually get it quite early as well and i i could be wrong about this but i don't think it actually costs that much money but as far as your uh, air filters these are the physical skills that it affects as well you get endurance you also get more health xp you also get more immunity metabolism strength vitality and stress resistance xp as well so you're going to be leveling a bunch of different things way faster by using the um by using the uh the fuel filters or the air filters sorry not fuel filters so that's it that's pretty much the easiest way to do it you go into a raid you sprint until your stamina bar completely runs out while you're underweight to level endurance uh or while you're overweight to level strength it's pretty damn simple the only thing you're going to be spending money on is sj6s and then air filters every day that you're trying to train your soft skills so i know it's a little bit costly and to build your hideout up costs a lot of money but right now in the wipe you can actually build your hideout way cheaper than you could let's say even two weeks ago my god the prices have come down so much so my biggest piece of advice to you guys is just do it just grind it waste your money and just get them because once you hit 51 strength and you hit 51 endurance it's almost like playing a different game it is so huge for getting to good loot spots first outrunning the hatchlings being able to outmaneuver people having more stamina to be able to hold angles for longer and stuff it is absolutely awesome and i'm very excited i reckon it's going to take me about a week now to get max strength i'm currently almost level 30 um and i'm looking to get maybe like three or four strength levels a day which can be quite easily doable depending on how quickly you're running in and out of your raids um but yeah max endurance and max strength isn't something that you should be like, oh, I'll never get that. It's way too hard. It'll take way too long. A week. You will literally get it in a week. If your endurance is still really low, like level 10 or whatever like that, it'll level fast. Like, trust me, you will level it really, really quickly. It will shock you at how quickly you will level these soft skills. So, guys, that's pretty much it. Everybody's been asking me, how do I do it? That's how you do it. Massive shout out to Kip and Bro. He turned me on how to do this method. And I had no idea before that. And I never thought I was going to get max strength and endurance this wipe. But it turns out I'm going to have it within the next week. I'll have max strength as well. So hopefully you guys can all get max strength and endurance as well. If you guys have any comments, leave them down below. Make sure to let me know what you think. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Check out the other content on the channel. Make sure to check out my Twitter, uh, Twitch, 
Instagram, TikTok. Uh, check out the Tweak Show podcast. It'll all be linked down below. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, my dudes.